Hey guys, what's up? Let's do a quick reading on Amber Lynn. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's, uh, let's see what cards come out. This is a general reading. It's for entertainment purposes only. But let's ask some questions. See what the cards have to say. Uh, this is Tommy, Papa Tommy, Pumpkin Face. you haven't met him before. He has to get a tooth pulled. He's on antibiotics right now. Oh, I knew you were gonna do this. He He's like the worst. I don't know why. He doesn't move. Like, he'll come in here. He don't, he don't move. But then as soon as I try to, like, if I try to do something with the cards, he'll start trying to knock over the camera. He's like, no, don't do a reading on Anne Boleyn. <laughs> I've been, I've been communicating with Twinkie, and I got all the information. He, he already knows. All the information I need to know, he already got from Twinkie. Oh, uh, we should tune in to Twinkie. Twinkie will probably give us more information about what's going on with Amberlynn and Amberlynn's energy wall. All right. Uh, again, general reading for entertainment purposes only. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the energy on my mind. I'm not drunk. <laughs> I feel like I need to say that because I was listening to one of my videos and I'm like, oh my God, it sounds like I'm drunk, but I'm not. One of the reasons I don't like showing my face on video is because like I had something happen a couple of years ago and it affected my face, my mouth specifically, where now when I talk, I look like Sylvester Stallone a little bit and I ain't talking on Sylvester Stallone, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that's the only person I can think of compared to. And it's a pain in the ass when I talk. All right, anyway, this isn't about me and my weirdo face and mouth, but I just feel like I need to say that because, like, I'm listening to myself talk. And I'm like, some of y'all like, oh, I like when you talk. You probably like more when I speak like this. <laughs> some of you get your mind out of the gutters. Uh, all right, I'm blaming this kooky energy on Anne Boleyn, all right, because... This is Amberlynn's cup. Amberlynn reading. If I do upload this, I'm sorry in advance. All right, show me, please. Oh, my God. I'm not drunk. And it's like, it's not even like, all right. Tommy's looking at me. <laughs> Tommy just looked at me like, <laughs> Tommy just gave me the, the look. Like, are you sure you're not drunk? I swear to God, I haven't, ha I haven't had a drink in years. Not even on purpose. It just doesn't make me feel good anymore. All right. <laughs> Show me Amberlynn's energy, please. Uh, what's representing her current energy? All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So just seeing this right here, it's like, yeah, she's, pro she's with Tommy, I'm sure. Seven of Cups to the Fool to the Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups is all about, like, our options, our choices. She's probably hanging out with Tommy and they're talking about, like, where are we going to live? Where we, I, I feel like they're talking about uh, living together. <sighs> like, the, where are they going to live and stuff like that. And how they might present it or what they're going to share, like, with us. Uh, the Fool is here. Do I need to say more? Dun 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 This is Amberlynn's life. She's going down the rabbit hole. All gonna fall right in into Tommy's vagina. So the fool um jumping into the new beginning, not really looking at what's past the thing we're jumping into. Sometimes I describe... Sometimes the fool isn't, doesn't have to... Be, no card has to be bad or good, ultimately. But, like, you know, taking it for what it is. And sometimes I see this as an energy that hasn't learned from the things from... Like, the things that they've gone through. Uh, just like, you know, immature energy. Immature energy. Jumping down the rabbit hole... 
Uh, yeah. Jumping down the rabbit hole. Alright, the Ten of Cups is here, which is like, she's feeling like she's in love. I will say, all the readings I did, whatever time ago, focused on, like, the energy that ended up being Tommy. That I, can't, I don't, alright, yeah. Anyway, was like, all this love is called, and all that kind of crap. So, alright, what's here? Oh, shit. Alright, so... When I get the Empress card, I just said this in my Eugenia reading where I got it, and it's like the same thing here. When I get the Empress card for people like Chantal, Amber Lynn Reed, um, Eugenia, and it has to do with like certain, like the subject matter that's been going on, specifically surrounding Tommy Salami. Like, this doesn't make me feel great. Uh, so this, if you're unfamiliar, if, you, if you're not new here, I'm sorry I'm, for repeating it. But if you are new here, the Empress, and you don't know about Tarot, the Empress represents a, an energy that creates. Sometimes it's creating ideas. Sometimes it's um, creating life. Right? Like a woman with the child in the belly. Sometimes, like, so sometimes she has a mother energy or something. Sometimes when, uh, it has to, like... I don't like it here because it makes me feel like here it represents that Chantal feels like she is being embraced and physically appreciated for the woman she is. Because, like, the Empress can... She's like all the queens in one. She's like what every man desires in the feminine, what every feminine wants to be, like, you know. All right, the Page of Sword. Sometimes this is like a spy or it's information that we're finding out, we're trying to get. The Empress is here and the Four of Pentacles. Holding on, holding back, being greedy. So... All right. And on the bottom, we have the Star of the World and the Knight of Swords. I would say that this is saying to me, Amberlynn is doing what she f feels is fulfilling a wish, a dream. To The world is here. Uh, sh this could represent that she's actually moving. Like, to a different place. Like, a couple of reads ago, I didn't feel like she was going to leave the area that she was living in, but maybe this is suggesting that she is considering or actually in the process of... moving. Like, actually moving her life. Oh, uh, and the Ten of Pentacles is the... The Knight of Sword. This could be... An energy that's in and out, back and forth. So if... What I felt this is saying is that... She's actually moving. If it's not saying Tommy is. I felt it's saying Amber is. Which I didn't feel a couple of weeks ago. That she would be physically moving. But this makes me think she has. Um, if not... Sometimes this Knight of Sword, they go back and forth. So it could represent that Tommy... Is going back and forth... To the home of Amber... Oh, Temperance is here. The Six of... Oh, my God, just keeps going. They, they feel very much, or Amber feels right now, like this relationship feels like home, or she wants to make this person build a life with them, share a home with them, share her money, her life, her home. Temperance it could be Sag energy. I don't know if Tommy Salami is a Sag doesn't they don't have to be overall this represents someone that like Amberlyn feels like this person balances them out the six of pentacles this is like about the give and take or like sometimes it's someone that's in need so I don't know if Tommy actually I just felt this 
So I'll just say it again, John Marine for entertainment purposes only. I don't know if this is saying that Amber Lynn, if Amber Lynn does move in physically with Tommy, it might be because Tommy's money, like job, life has been affected financially uh, since everything has come out. And that would be a reason that mm, Tommy would move Amber Lynn in, besides all the other reasons, like wanting to adore them for the woman that they are and want to feed the ego and watch it. When I get this Empress called, when I'm doing readings like this, as I did a reading, I think it was on, it might have been on Amber Lynn. It was, it was one of these girlies, goily pops. Uh, it might have been Fruity, but I think it was Amber Lynn. Anyway, and it was specifically having to do with like the whole world of, you know, what we feel Tommy Salami is part of, or whatever, again, general reinventing purposes only, blah, 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 don't attack anybody, you know what I'm trying to say, guys, when I get this card, it, it just makes me really feel heavy about, about appreciating the energy, specifically the feminine energy, and looking at it as like, like feeding the ego and appreciating the physical attributes of that feminine. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like it here. All right, anyway, whatever. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, since I already made the, this reading, if, I don't know if I should put this up because I, maybe I should edit out the beginning. Oh my God, I do everything on my phone. I'm like, low budget productions. So, all right, anyway, I'm going to ask about Twinkie real quick because it just, he popped in my mind. Twinkie, is Twinkie a girly pop? Uh, or a pretty boy? All right. If um, you're not subscribed and you're still here, maybe consider su subscribing. Help me out. If you want to help me out on the algorithm, you can leave a purple heart or a fly emoji. You have nothing else to say. Or, you know, if you want to request a specific type of reading, Zodiac related or whatever, let me know in the comments. Alright, I want to tune in real quick to Twinkie. Twinkie. Show me, um, oh, poor Twinks. Show me Twinkie, Twinkie's energy. How's Twinkie feeling? Oh, the page of sword. Twinkie's heal, hearing all the infam all the secrets. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, show me more. What is going on with Twinkie? Why is the page of sword here? Oh, Twinkie. What's going on with my Twinkies? Why is the page a sword here? Alright, so on the bottom I see the seven of wands, the king of cup, and the chariot. Alright, so... This makes me think, is she moving? Because the chariot sometimes is like an energy physically going somewhere. And this kind of reminds me of Tommy Salami. Just immediately, I feel like, yeah, Twinkie might be a little defensive about Tommy Salami moving into their life. Um, Twinkie might not like all the things that they're hearing. <laughs> the information that they're hearing about what's going to happen with, you know, Ten of Swords. So this is feeling betrayed. The King of Pentacle. Here comes Tommy Salami taking over the whole world. <laughs> Amber's world. The whole, Amber's whole world now is about about her new love. All her stability is riding on this energy. The Queen of Cups. Here's Amber drinking, getting all emotional, uh, uh, making vlogs. Uh, girly popping her with her what's that flipping drink she likes I can't think that shit she drinks oh here's the world okay okay 
and here's the hangman. All right, I think that Twinkie is feeling be what I said here. You were there. I said it, and I think this makes me. I'm seeing boxes being packed, but I'm not sure. I want to say that Tommy is would go live with them because, but the, I don't know. This is making me feel. Anne Boleyn might be packing up and move. Alright, I don't know. I feel like someone's moving. Whether that's Tommy going towards her. This is try uh, making me feel, though, that Amber might be moving to Maybe they're meeting in the middle? No, no, no. Because Tommy has a... Tommy Salami's got a... Alright, alright. Maybe that's why I'm feeling that, because Tommy Salami can't maybe leave the place they're at. So if they were going to live together... Amber would maybe have to go there, right? Is that why? Because I really... All right, I don't know. That. Listen, it's the general review for entertainment purposes only. I don't know what the fuck. I'm not really there. Unless Amber sees a fly in her house or something. That could be my fly on the wall telling me, because I don't know. That's what... All right, and this hangman... I think... This is representing that Twinkie is physically uncomfortable. Um, and I think this has to do with just that Twinkie feels like they don't really have a choice in the matter of the feeling kind of stuck. The hangman for me just is an energy that um, sometimes doesn't have a choice of being in this position. And it's not a comfortable position to be in, hanging there. Alright, I don't know, this was weird as fuck. Thanks for being here if you fucking stayed. Uh, sorry for the hot mess, that is me. Uh, love you guys, see you next time.